What's up, friends of the good boot? This is Manny and welcome to Manny screwing up big time. Take a look what's happening here to me. That's right, I fell completely backwards on my launch and why that happens and how this looked from the drone's perspective that I had flying around me, perfectly filming the whole thing. Here comes the explanation, okay? So we're in the preparations here. The Skydio is filming me like it usually does very beautifully. I'm glad to have this drone. And if you haven't yet seen it, ladies and gentlemen, in the top right corner, there is an example of a video where the Skydio, which I wanted to do at this day too, follows me around while I'm flying the paramotor. It looks amazing. Uh, unfortunately in this flight I couldn't get to that point because I had an accident happening to me and uh, the uh, accident was there was too strong wind. Now I didn't really expect the wind to be that strong. I felt it was windy but I didn't think I was gonna get ripped backwards as soon as I you know uh, pull up the wing behind me and uh, what I've here I'm very confident still as you can see uh, but what I should have done instead of you know doing the normal forward launch I should have done a reverse launch uh, and simply control the wing and turn around and ran right I didn't do that I I didn't anticipate the wing enough you see in the background there's a wind sack but it's a very heavy and big one and when this one stands like that that usually means quite a lot of wind so here, here comes my mistake you see it nicely filmed from the Skydio drone and uh, yeah unfortunately <laughs> let me just show you this okay here we go. Oops! Uh, whoa, something is wrong. I already turned off the engine, thankfully, at this moment. And bots! Oh, man. Um, it didn't do much to me other than, you know, hurting my pride a little. And I got something that pinched into my rib. Uh, probably like the, um, the arm of the, uh, the harness. But, uh, it's not too bad. The, the, it's more like the pride that I got a hit from this. And you see I'm laying there like a turtle on my back. Let's have a detailed look in slow motion, okay? So I, I pull up the wing as I usually do. But I notice immediately something is awkward. Like it doesn't come up. It, first off, it comes off way too fast uh, than it normally does and I can already hear my uh, flight teacher saying into my ear all right you have a lot of wind slowly walk into the lines and that's what I didn't do I, I basically ran into the lines big mistake and then when I noticed the wing comes up I uh, I, I, I kind of lost the pressure because it pulled me back and then I had no pleasure uh, sorry pressure on the wing uh, and therefore I was it was harder to control it and I landed on my butt right there um, very quickly actually on my on my back and you've seen here um, in the slow-mo cam and uh, that I actually landed on the prop right so I'm going backwards here just to have a look at this again I'm landing on the actual prop and the motor uh, and thankfully this whole thing did not take any damage from it so but of course the very important aspect was that I turned off the engine as soon as I noticed well something is off okay something is not right and I turned off the engine therefore the prop was standing still at the time I hit the ground if that one was would have been going well then I would have definitely scrapped uh, the props now of course here Here's what I can show you how you really do it, except I didn't do it very well here in the first instance. Um, I, uh, my wing wasn't properly laid out, so it didn't come up clean. Uh, it came out to one side, but uh, with this strong wind, you can actually kite the wing upwards. You know, uh, I have a kite surfing video and I am a kite surfer, so I know how to kite a wing, like start a wing from the surface of water or ground or whatever, and this is exactly how we do it. That's how you launch in, uh, in strong wind. You bring up the, the wing in front of you with a so-called reverse launch and uh, and then you just turn around and go okay that's the thing however that I haven't practiced a lot right I haven't done this in a very long time because I never needed to do that I was always having low to no wind conditions and I was always doing a forward launch and now for the first time in a very long time I was faced with a situation where without doing a reverse launch I can't really launch you know and you see here the wind right I was I, you know I'm showing this perfectly in, in a few seconds again look at the speed we're having this is without I like I'm fully trimmed down I'm not having the trimmers open and I'm still like dry uh, like going as uh, with, with max trim trimmed out speed right uh, so and then turning around going into like with headwind and you see I'm barely moving forward anymore The wind was really strong. The other thing is however, it wasn't gusty. It was just Strong wind, but it was even wind. So it was actually a flyable day It's not like a day that where you shouldn't be flying. It is a flyable day because it wasn't gusty It was just relatively strong wind and for the launch the reverse launch is needed You may have seen here on the left side my risers my left riser was actually not correct 
I had it turned the wrong way. Um, it's not a problem. You can fly like that. It's absolutely... Uh, it doesn't really matter much. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's still better to have it sorted out the right way. Uh, and therefore, I decided to land, right? Uh, which was a very easy thing with this much headwind uh, and uh, I could I did not even need to run I just stepped on stepped onto the ground. And that was it. So I landed on the ground. I fixed the riser I memorized what I did wrong previously with the risers and now I make sure I made sure to never do that mistake again So that now it's all turned to the right side and uh, this time I also have the wing laid out properly so I can pull it up straight and we're we're gone, right? This is how the launch goes in high wind conditions. Uh, it's, you know, it's not like a magic trick, but um, you should go and uh, try the forward launch that you normally do in no and low wind conditions. Uh, because chances are you're gonna experience the thing that I experienced right there and uh, you have maybe if you're really unlucky then have you have a beautiful 4k 60 drone ready shooting that perfect video material where you lay like a, like a, like a moron <laughs> moron on your back um, so yeah that was a very unfortunate thing it was really really stupid crash that would have been easily avoided uh, but sport is also about making few mistakes a few mistakes I guess that you can learn from and as long as those mistakes are things that are not fatal or really really badly um, or but rather just things you can really learn from next time do it better you know making progress right that's <laughs> that's the important thing so ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching have a good one and see you in the next video money signing off bye bye